Hey friends and welcome back to a new video on this channel. I'm in a new office as you can probably see in the background. I've been really quiet for the past few weeks and that's because I change offices, I try to uh, focus on other things but I'm back and I have a couple of cool ideas for new content and new videos and I hope you are still here with me. One of those ideas is that I will review all of those upcoming sketch beta updates and of course also this, the public uh, sketch updates. And today we will look at the new sketch beta for version 56. And there are a couple of cool features that will be publicly available in a couple of days or weeks and we are already able to check out the beta. If you're interested in a room tour, if you're interested in more about my new office, more than basically just the, the new cupboard, uh, then let me know it in the comment section. You can also give this video a thumb up if you enjoyed it and you can follow me on Twitter at MaxCo to get more updates. Okay, but right now let's jump into Sketch and I have Sketch Private Beta version 56, as I said. Uh, you can see it right here, it has this blue diamond. The normal one is yellow or gold, of course. And I have a basic file prepared to show you uh, all of those new features. So one of the features is that you can now change text on the go. Before, when you had a symbol and you wanted to override the text, you always had to go into your inspector and change the text over here. Now we can do so directly on the canvas. Simply double click it and simply change the text that we have in here. So we can simply use any combination we like. We can of course still override it also in our panel right here, but uh, we can now simply check how it looks uh, while we are on the design itself. So change the text, boom, here we go edit and override text um, like text symbols directly on canvas. Another cool feature that I want to show you is that they added more and more features for Smart Distribute. Smart Distribute is basically a feature that is helping you to check and correct alignments of several objects, um, layers or folders. So for example, I have uh, one of the, I have two of those notifications right here selected. Um, and we see that we have a little um, like indicator right here that we can grab and we can simply change the spacing between those elements and we see the amount of points or pixels there. So that's what was available until right now, but they changed it. They even enhanced it. So I will copy those two elements. I will create a new uh, file a simple artboard for our project and I will paste those two um, notifications. Let's get a better background so we can see them a little bit better like that. And uh, let's make a duplicate of those. So we can drag them down and now we have all of them available right here. Um, what we can do now of course is to add a second column like that and right now we are able to select all of those elements and we can use a new feature that is called tidy and we find it over in our inspector we can click it and it automatically changes and corrects all of the spacings and now you see all, all of those indicators that we are able to use to generate a certain spacing between uh, those elements that we selected so, so that means you don't have to focus on alignment when creating new designs like you did right now. So for example, you have an app and your app, let me get this out of the way, um, and your app has a certain screen and on top of the screen you have um, maybe like a list view and the list view consists of a few elements and you just copy and paste them and drag them down so you have some spacing there available. Um, what we can do now is to just select those elements, click tidy and we get the right amount of spacing. And we can then just use those little um, handles right here to correct it um, in the way that we want it to be. Now let's move on to the third feature that I want to present you of Sketch Beta 
um, in Sketch version 56. It's about working and saving files in the cloud. So we have our outboard right here and I haven't saved it yet. So let's just try out pressing CMD and S, which should usually just save it on our machine. I press it and it says save document to cloud documents are the safe uh, private by default you can adjust a document's settings on sketch cloud so give it a name um sketch private beta 56 test i'm gonna hit save and now that i saved it it's automatically changing and showing up such a cloud icon on the top and we have this little cloud icon over here and it says view in cloud documents view in sketch cloud and you can manage some settings cup and even copy the link so if we head over to sketch.cloud we now see my little example file right here that i haven't updated yet and we see our file that we just worked on um, all in our cloud so uh, if i go over and go back to this other file and I hit save, it should usually upload it to the cloud because we see that we have a uh, we have our file right here in the cloud. But I think, and I'm not sure how it 100% works and if it's 100% ready yet because it's of course still a beta. Um, it's a whole different menu in here. Um, that's why I'm not 100% sure why it's not automatically uploading it to the cloud if I hit save, but we can definitely hit update document and we get a upload process shown. So it should probably update it in our cloud within a few minutes and um, correct, for example, this little text change in here. We can keep on working in our document and it will probably up, uh, upload the correct one. So we will check that out later. I want to show you what you can do he in here in the cloud. So we can filter some of those documents in here and I just have uploaded some by myself. Um, we can select those projects and we can check out the settings. So currently uh, it's really, really simple. Um, what we can see right here is that people who I invited or people who have the link, they can uh, comment, download and use it as a library. And you have full control over that. So we can also download it and delete it. And if we go in here, we see that we have an artboard and we also get all of those symbols. We can now add more members to it we can um, receive notifications or we can disable them and we can also jump into such an artboard and start a discussion uh, in here like spacings aren't correct yet right side so for example this one really looks odd and that's all you can do in here for now you can't really use it like Zeppelin, um like a like a I don't know, check spacings and pixels and so on. But I think all of those features will come out very soon. And that's just the first step, of course. We can uh, add some uh, emojis here, like some quick actions, hide and show the side panel. And we can check out our own account. Let me go in here. We can change some things and go back and also go through those screens with this little um, uh, arrow icons right here and we can also use our keyboard to quickly jump between those screens let's go back to our document and you just saw that it is updating because um, I manually started the upload process and here you can see that it changed from 941 to 940 and we are also of course able to check out the document and it has like an infinite scroll with those symbols below the artboards. So that's a perfect way to collaborate with teammates. I'm sure Sketch will enable us to um, really collaborate with our team in a few updates. Um, for now, we are able to store them in the cloud to automatically upload them and to see changes. Um, because you saw the update process in here and we now have the correct one that we can work with. I'm sure in the future we will see more things like versioning and so on. 
But that's it for now for this private beta. And I hope you enjoyed this little video in which I just give you an overview of the latest beta and the features and things that you can expect once the beta will launch into an actual version 56 and come out for the public. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new, hit the thumb up button and we see us on the next one. Bye.